Jesus mighty name. Speak to us tonight. Yes, Lord. Make us tonight. Bless us tonight. In Jesus name we pray. Amen, amen and amen. Bless the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Worship team, the Lord bless you. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. Amen. Do you have your Bible? Can you lift up your hand if you don't have your Bible? And let's make a declaration that he is the Lord. That he is the Lord. Amen. Amen. That he is the Lord. Let's go. Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is my Lord. To the glory of God. The Father. Amen. Amen. Let's take our seats in the presence of the Lord. Our reading comes from Titus. Let's do our series two. We are in series two, series two, on this great grace. Series two, on this great what? Grace. The great grace. This is my prayer. That those who are serious, you see, not all people are serious with God. Those who are serious, they will... They will prepare themselves for this grace. Because grace is given to all of us. But it does not manifest to all of us. Salvation, Jesus died for everybody. But not all people are born again. The same way. Grace is given to everyone. But not everyone whom grace shows up. And the reason is lack of knowledge. Because of lack of knowledge, my people perish. Or say, right? Amen. Together, let's read from Titus 2, 11, getting down in Jesus' name. For the grace of God that brings salvation. Now, I would have done up to that point, series 2. The grace that brings salvation. This is to say there is no salvation without grace. When we talk of salvation, we do not talk only forgiveness of sin. Salvation is a package of all what we receive in Christ Jesus. Series 2 of the Great Grace. Series 2 of the Great Grace. And the sub theme is grace, the grace that teaches us. The grace that teaches us. It is by grace that we are saved. It's by grace we are delivered every day. It's by grace that every day we have protection. It's by grace that every day we are alive. It's by grace of God that you are and I am what we are. It's by grace. So it brings salvation. So if any place around with grace, salvation closes. That's where, where you find people who backslide. They fall from the grace. People who go back and they begin building what they destroyed when they came to Christ. They get off of grace. It has appeared to all men. Is that clear? This grace appears to all men. But it does not manifest to all men. It's my prayer that tonight, each one of us, by the grace of God, 
you make a decision. To a certain level, you allow the spirit. To a certain level, you say this one. First of teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lusts, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in the presence, in the present, in the present age. Amen. Can I have a uh, new living? And I LT, do you have it? Okay, great. And we are instructed. Are you there? We are instructed to turn from godless living and the sinful pleasure, pleasures. We should live in this evil world with wisdom, righteousness, and the devotion to God. Again, the two kingdoms shows up. You remember the kingdoms and the kingdom? They show up again. We are instructed if we need this grace to manifest to our lives and to our children and to our generation, this grace will manifest when we listen to the instructions, when we listen to the instructions and we obey the instructions. Next. Looking for the blessed hope and a glorious appearing of our law uh, of our great God and the Savior Jesus Christ. So, the grace is not only for the material things on the planet Earth; it also connects us with our ascension. It is not for here alone. You see, somebody can say, "Ah, I, I, will, I will find my own way. Find your own way." But time is coming that you will need the grace. It is by the grace that people cross the river to spend their time with Christ. It is the same grace. It is by the same grace, the same grace, that if Jesus will not tarry and find us alive, the same grace will make us to ascend. It's the grace. It's the grace. And the same grace will transform this flesh which cannot receive the glory of God in ascension to receive the body that can ascend. When people will look for us, if Christ comes now, tonight, people will look for us. People will look for every born again believer and they will just find the material things that cannot go to heaven. Realms. Praise the name of the Lord. So the grace is not only for material things. It connects to eternity with Christ. Amen. It connects to eternity with Christ. Next. Who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from every lawless deed and purify. You see, the grace does not stop the day you gave your life to Christ. It did not stop there. It proceeds. It moves with us. It moves with you day by day. For what purpose? That it might purify. He purified for himself his own special people. You are a special person. In fact, if you want to write at your archive, it is allowed. Special person. And then you are given a, your digital number. You are. We are special people. These special people, they have a distinction in their lives. What is the distinction of the people? Zeros for what? For good works. They are zeros for good works. That's a distinction. That's a stamp in our lives. You, you have a zeal of doing good. Why? Because you have knowledge. Two, it's grace working in you. Three, it's a grace which has made you to be what you are. Amen. This is series two. Series two. And you are free to ask questions 
in this series is, I, I don't want to preach. I want to teach. I want you to put down your roots. Because by the end of the year, we must see the fruit of this grace. Because God can't lie. Amen? God cannot lie. So, we are marked by God as his special people. We are marked by him as his special people. Amen? Can I have John, this verse which has come to me. John 15, 19. John 15, 19. There's something which has come to me. Special people of God. If you were of the world, the world would love its own. Yet because you are not of the world, but I chose you. Can you read it with me? But I chose you out of the world. Therefore, the world aids I saw that, <clears throat> that in the world, God chose his people to show us grace. He chose you. It was not your strength. To say no to sin, it's not one's strength. It's grace of God that works in. It works in. It works in. It works in until one says, no, I need a change. It's grace. He who called us from the world, he who called you from that dark realm, he called you from the dark realm. So, and then he gave you a zeal of doing good. So you cannot go back from where you were called. You cannot go back. That is what Paul meant when he, say, he said, I cannot begin building what I destroyed. He was saying, I cannot go back to the world and begin doing what I was doing before. But I want this grace. I want this grace to make me. I want this grace to work in my life. I want this grace to be with me in the office. I want this grace to be with me wherever I am. This grace, I want it to work in my life. I want this grace to open doors. I want this grace to connect me. I want this grace to give me favor. I've been attending some meetings. And what has amazed me is the grace. I go, I sit. And somebody comes and tells me, Bishop, you can't sit here. He takes me in the front. You, you see, there are ushers who don't know us. So, I went somewhere and I sat. And uh, uh, the usher asked me, are you a bishop? I said, yes, I'm a bishop. Just quietly. Yes, I'm a bishop. When, when usher said, take him to the bishop, to the place of bishops. His usher said, no. It's a fall of that place. Oh, the senior usher came. He knew me. The senior usher came. I said, bishop, you can't sit here. And he took me to the front line. The front line. And uh, now I say to God, I'm going to 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 say to God, i to <laughs> that, that's not all. Me, I was not among the organizing team of the meeting. While I'm there, one preacher preaching, he said, Bishop Jalo, able to ambiya kwa kikamba hii neno muna itaje. Nikabewa hile mic ya kubili. Kazema mungu weo ni wanema. Mimi sikuwa kwa program. Ninapewa mic ni kazi. Tukua Mike ni katembea ni kasema Vile ni lisema Ni kaumbiri Mungu aliniambia si umeumbiri Kwa mkutano wa mbao kwa mehu Hau kwa anda hii mkutano Haka I wanted to show you what grace works eh? KICC was packed Packed to the brim 
Eh? Sasa nikapewa mic. Na si kwa 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 si kwa program mimi. Lakini Mungu akaniambia ni ile grace nataka kuonyesha the way it works. You don't you don't work for it. It's aligning yourself and you wait. You align yourself. You walk with God and see what he works. At the gate when I was entering at the gate nilifika <coughs> nikaambiwa hapa ngali zinalipiwa naangalia wewe mzee kamwele nikamu hata mimi nitalipa kanitolea kaniambia ona all these bishops wamelipa hata nganga amelipa okay nikamwambia mimi sio nganga mimi ni huyu kaniambia sorry sa narudi nyuma ule mwingine akiamka akambe we chelea picha chelea chelea ule apeti kasema sinile grace ni ile nini Ingrace imenivundisha mambo tangu tuianze. Imenivundisha mambo sana. Eh? Ukizikia ukizikia askari mkubwa alikwambia sore za amestuka. Grace iko na kasi. Amen. So kaniambia alikuwa alikuwa ameniambia unaona hii wote? Ananionyesha list. Hamaskov wote wamelipa. Nikamwambia mimi sio Hamaskov mimi ni Askov. Na mimi naitwa Chalo. Eh nikamwambia jina, nikamwambia mimi ni Askov Chalo na zilipi? Na zitalipa na zilipangi akaniuliza kwani wewe ni nani nikamwambia mzee si ungeniamini tu mimi sasa nikamuonyesha grace sasa kuona grace akazituka alipoona grace akazituka akaniambia sasa si ungeniamnyesha mapema sasa unanionyesha sasa hii si ungeniamnyesha mapema tu nikamwambia hakuna shida mzee bwana asante sana this grace wapendwa tulichukuliwa hivi tukawekwa kwa grace na me have known you know i've worked with the lord for sio miaka mingi but i've come to learn wapendwa i've come to learn what wisdom is yani unavikanga mahali na mungu unaanza kuona vitu ambavyo uko unaziona imagine in this grace wapendwa naomba mnijivungue masikio msikie hiki kitu maana itawasaidia in this grace when you purpose to walk in this grace God carries you. Even in your office, even wherever you are, God will carry you. God will carry you. Lakini ni sisi tunajikozea. Mwimbaji akaimba wimbo wa Kiswahili akasema, "Lakini tuna jikozesha, tunajitweka vibaya." Kumbuka wimbo wa Kiswahili unasema anga hivyo katika nyimbo za tensi za rohoni amujui hizo kuna ikubuka inasema lakini tunajikosesha sisi tunajikosesha kwa neema hii tunajitoa kwa hii neema kwa sababu tunajitweka vibaya ninaomba ninaomba mimi ni maombi yangu ya kwamba in grace in grace it will work in my life and in your life tufike mahali tuseme kama Paul Paul anasema mimi hata singestahili singestahili si stahili hii neema lakini Mungu alinionekania kwa hii neema lakini sio mimi nimefanya kazi ni what ni nini ni ile neema ni ile neema inayofanya kazi wapendo katika jina la Yesu Kristo ninawasi ninawasi tuatilie neema katika maisha yetu na yale mambo ufukuza neema yale mambo usimamisha neema kando ikungoje tuyaondoe neema it Neema upepa. Neema ufanya kazi katika maisha ya mwanadamu. Neema ufanya kazi katika biashara. Neema ufanya kazi katika ndoa. Neema ufanya kazi. Neema ufanya kazi. Neema ufanya kazi. Wapendwa. Mi nawaambia Monday niliingia kwa mkutano hivi na nikiingia hivi nilikuwa nimesikia neema 
neema. Nasikia tu neema. Sasa nashindwa hii neema. Naisikia tu neema. Na keti katikati ya watu tu. Nakuja na chukuliwa. Na kwa front line. Niki kaka na itewa maiki. Neema. Maana kila mtu alikuwa ya. Kila mtu alikuwa ya kia sisi kuhiyo alijua chalu. Hivyo ndivyo mungu utangaza watu. Ana kutangaza anga kikiwa ujui. Na anakulazimisha anga kwa watu. Anambia watu ule anaitwa kama vile alilazimisha nyumba ya njeze na ndugu za David walilazimishwa huyo kijana kutigwa mavuta kama wangeulizwa kama wangeulizwa hawangekubali lakini walilazimishwa kwa sababu ya hili neema you know what i'm seeing watu wataenda kulazimishwa mambo juu yako Watu watalazimishwa mambo juu ya kanisa hili. Tunaweza kuwa tumepita mambo masito sana. Siku ingine nasoma mahali wanasema shetani will never attack his people. The devil will never attack his people. The devil will never attack churches whereby he is not being put down. He will never. But where people are saying, me, I need grace. And because I need grace, hii kitu yako shetani ni mekupepea siku mingi. Sitaki leo. Hii ni mekupepea siku mingi. Sitaki. Hii ni mekupepea siku mingi. I don't need it. I don't need this. I need the grace. I need the grace. I need grace. This is our mark. You are stamp on your face is what you have been chosen and the zeal you have is for good works the zeal you have when others are doing whatever they want when others are going their way the zeal in my life the zeal in your life is doing good praise the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah Life is by choice. The grace has appeared to all of us. But that it does not manifest to all of us. Salvation is to everybody. God loved the world. But not everybody who is born again. In Jesus name. Amen. So the grace will teach us. In John 14, in John 14, but the helper, the Holy Spirit whom the Father will send, in my name, Jesus is speaking, he will teach you all things and bring to you a remembrance all things that I say to you. He is a teacher and he works with the Holy, with a grace. The Holy Spirit works with that grace. That's how he teaches us. I pray our ears will keep on opening according to Luke, uh, uh, Luke 20, 24, uh, uh, verse 45. That our ears, God will open our ears of understanding. That we will understand his word. Even when you are alone. Even when you are reading in the morning, in the morning devotion that is coming to you every morning. Uh, you know that morning devotion has been blessing my life a lot. A lot. Because the word of God, when you allow the grace to work through it, Jesus says, you are now clean because of the word I've spoken to you. The word cleanses us. The word heals our bodies. The word opens gates and doors for us. The word will keep us. The Holy Spirit will work with the grace in our lives to teach us. He's our teacher. Holy Spirit, teach us. Holy Spirit, teach us as we drive, as we work, as we serve people, as we serve our families. Teach us, Holy Spirit of God, that you shall stand somewhere and the word of God will come from your memory and become a blessing to men's lives, opening doors and gates to men's lives in the name of Jesus Christ. You will be a blessing that whoever will be with you, whoever will be with me will say, for sure, I've been blessed. Hmm? 
the father-in-law of Jacob, he says to Jacob, since you came, I have this testimony. I have been blessed because of the grace he carried. Because of the grace he carried. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Mm, seems I will not get where I wanted to get tonight, but we will continue because I'm with you every Wednesday. Colossians 3. Let's begin now putting foundation of this grace because this grace will work. When Christ who is our life appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. Mm -hmm. Therefore, now, it, that, that the grace might find its way. The things that I was saying, we were mekana mimi sana, we talk, we when you realize you are not, oh my goodness, when it's this now, it says, therefore put to death your members which are on the earth, fornication, uncleanness, passion, evil desire, and covetousness, which is idolatry. Uh -huh. Because of these things, look at that first. Look at that first. Because of these things, the wrath of God is coming upon the sons of disobedience. Can I get that first in a in a like NLT? Yes. Because of these sins, the anger of God is coming. The anger of God. Now, Back to five. So put to death the sinful, earthly things lacking within you. Have nothing to do with the sexual immorality, impurity, lusts, and the evil desires. Don't be greedy. For a greedy person is what? Idolater, worshipping the things of this world. These are the things which put at bay the grace of God. Because they cannot fit in the same place. They can't. They can't fit in the same place. And as men and the women of God we can say out, out, out. And the grace comes in. Verse 6, verse 7. Therefore, uh, okay, in which you yourselves once walked when you lived in them. That's to say, we were there. Si ni kweli. Si we were there surely. Ni neema tu ya Mungu. Ni neema tu ya Mungu imetutoa kule. Si ndio? We once walked in them. But these things they bring what? The wrath of God. They bring anger of God. Eight. But now you yourselves are to put off all this all this anger Wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy language. Umayi kusikia hata watu wameogoka wanaongea nga fani. Mutu wameogoka, lakini ukimusikisa vile anaongea. Alangu anakuambia ni mchezo. Rawa mungu na ngrizi ya wana hiyo mchezo. Filthy language, out of your mouth. Yaani ya kuongea kwake hata mwenye dhambi hawezi kusikia chichi. Unajua kuna kuna neno naweza kuongea ukiwa katikati ya wenye dhambi uone wame wame wamenyamaza. Wame Lakini kuna kucheko naweza cheka na wao wanasema chochote wanaweza sema. Lakini kuna wengine watasema pasta hapo hapa. Pasta hapo hapa. 
kwa sababu wote ambao wanampenda Yesu Kristo na wale wameamua pote wanavaa kazi wanahitaji wachungaji basta kwa hapa amen can i have that verse in L- nlit but now is the time to get rid of anger wrench malice behavior malicious behavior slander and the dirty language we are working for the grace i mean we are working our lives to allow the grace to come in you can't work for the grace but you work your life the grace to come in next do not lie to one another since you have put off the old man with his deeds <laughs> Kuna siku nilidanga nilidanganya mtu nilipata shida. Kwa hiyo vizi. Sasa nikauliza Mungu, "Na nini nimedanganya?" Na siku lazimisha kusema vile nimesema. Kwa nini? Yaani niliumia. Baka nikasikia kwenda kumwambia tena, "Unajua nini nikudanganya hiyo?" What I say to it's not true. Lakini akawa yuko kwa ile ofisi. Asha atoke. Ah. Si kama umeongea neno ikakurudia. Ukasikia ni kama imekuvinyilia chini. Yaani, yaani unasikia ni kama kila mtu anaona vile umesema. Na <laughs> wewe Have you been there? Have you ever been there? Ama ni mimi tu. Au ni mimi tu. Bwana Yesu asio sana. Ni mimi tu ama have you been there? Good. That is to say the Holy Spirit is a lot in your life. Ukisikia akikwambia hivyo, he is very much a lot in your life. So sasa mimi nikasikia, ai Bishop, my friend, sio mdanganya. Sema. Kaza nikamuliza, na Mungu kwa nini nimesema hivyo? Actually that is what I I said. God, why did I say that? Nikasumbuka the whole day, lakini at the end of the day kazikia amani kazikia nimesamea kwa sababu nilitezeka sana mpaka nilikuwa nakalipo kuja kuambia mke wangu anisaidie kudumu sasa nikaona kudumu aisaidia ni yangu ni muziki anapewa peke yako unapewa peke yako kwa sababu kweli nilikuwa nataka kuja kumwambia sasa mimi sijisikini siyo ni nini nilifanya niliongea nikakuta nimeona nimedanganya kwa ofisi Hasa kwa nini? Yes. Yes. Eh. Yeah, you, you can unaweza tu kwa pasta. Unaweza tu kwa Mungu inatengemea jinsi hii unajisikia. Unaweza tu kwa huyo mtu you can go back umwambie i'm sorry what i said one, two, three. lakini itatengemea ameokoka ikiwa hajaokoka hata kuelewa to one to another one to another james mhm <laughs> Yeah, it's good. Yeah. The purpose of that is to allow you to speak it out. You know when you speak out, it gets out of you. So you can speak to pastor or you can speak to God or you can go to the person. It it will depend now how strong are you in faith. Sasa, let's stand up. Let's be standing up. Wow. This is the first one. First nine. Isn't it? First nine. We will begin there. Series three. And please, you can prepare any question you want. You can ask me through the day. You can inbox me. Let's grow together. Amen. Father, we are thankful tonight for your word. In this uh, great grace. Father, we pray, open our ears of understanding to understand your word. 
And help us that grace will work in us and that grace will make us. That it will not be our struggle, but your grace. Bless us tonight. The blessed those who did not come. That next Wednesday, they will come. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' name, we pray.